finally finished watching 13 shades of the Maybelline cream ads. I'm so tired. My lips feel like you're dying right now. And I'm so sorry about the white balance. So I just moved to Singapore and the place I moved to is not really ideal for filming. I yeah, I still need to bring my ring light over. So yeah, this is my bedroom light. It's a bit I'm having trouble getting the white balance. I did try to swatch outdoors, but unfortunately now it's raining, so I can't do this review outdoors. Plus it's really noisy, so I hope it's okay. The lighting's a bit iffy. Anyway, um, without further ado, let's check out the swatches. A makeup tutorial is coming up. I will make it as soon as possible. This is all with mostly Maybelline products too. The only non-Maybelline product I use is the color corrector, but other than that, it's a one brand tutorial. I'll edit it and publish it as soon as possible. I've been really, really slow at making videos. I know, I'm so sorry. It's just pregnancy has been making me so tired and nauseous and yeah, basically, I'm having a really crap pregnancy. I'm not one of those women with glowing, happy pregnancies. It's... Yeah. <laughs> so I tried wearing these lipsticks for a few days. And one thing that I have to say is that they are very, very comfortable. They do feel very creamy when you apply it. It feels exactly like applying lip balm. So, you know, there's no drying feeling. It's just so creamy. And that's why for a while I'm kind of wondering will it be matte enough and there's a tiny hint of a sheen but you know overall when I take pictures and so on it looks pretty matte and what I like about this is that it's very buildable you can just use one coat and you have this really powdery sheer blush of color that just looks like a flush of color on a rose petal it's very beautiful I love it but, you know, as you build it up, it just becomes more and more opaque and suddenly it's just this rich, vibrant matte that's amazing. So color-wise, I love it. Comfort-wise, I love it too. But the bad side is, you know, it's like a normal lipstick. So if you want it to stay put, you'll probably need a bit of a lip liner. I do notice some feathering and bleeding as I wear it. But that's normal for lipsticks in my opinion. And I think for the comfort, I personally don't mind it. I'm not really expecting lipsticks to be extremely long lasting and able to last me through meals. So yes, you do have to touch up after meals. 
after a few hours it does feather but personally it's it's a trade-off I will make just for the comfort because it really really does feel like applying lip balm. Taste-wise, okay so I'm pregnant and my taste has been going haywire and my nose has been getting extremely extremely sharp so I don't know how good I am at reviewing this at this moment but it does have that like artificial vanilla scent, you know the plasticky vanilla scent they sent kids as toys with. So it does have that scent, which will either make you feel nostalgic or kind of grossed out. But then again, it's not that long lasting. So even if you don't like it, it's not that big of a deal. I personally find it slightly nostalgic because it does remind me of all the old childhood toys I used to play with. It smells like this artificial coconutty vanilla with tiny hint of berries. It does make me nostalgic, but that's just me. Yeah, if you don't like that kind of artificial vanilla-ish scent, maybe that's something to look out for, but even if it is something you don't like, again, it doesn't last that long. So yeah, that's pretty much my quick review. Too long, didn't watch. Very, very comfortable. Color is amazing. Not that long lasting, but me. So overall, would I buy these again? Definitely. I really, really love it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this entire thing and I hope you enjoyed the entire video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. See you!